I just want to say thank all of you guys for coming again to watch. We had a good uh, topic that we're going to be doing today, and we have a good guest. And also, uh, Kathy's supposed to be here with her fashion chat by Kat, so hopefully uh, she'll make it. Um, just give me one second. We're just learning how to do a little couple of uh, technology stuff here. Uh, I'm not sure if I did it correct, but uh, let me see. Did I do that, that watch thing? But anyway, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank all of you guys for coming today and uh, spending the time with us. It's a little chaotic here. I'm a little lost because little things are going on in the background, stuff like that. Uh, so, you know, sometimes you got to worry about what's going on, but you can't see. So we're just fixing up a little uh, things here and there. But anyway, it is Thursday evening. Uh, I just want to start off a little bit about uh, the storm that we had on Wednesday here in New York as well as everywhere else we probably had a storm so that was kind of crazy uh, I felt like I was like in North Pole or something trying to make it to the other side I was like this would be the perfect time if I would have had a couple of huskies and a sled because it was crazy uh, yesterday but no it wasn't the end of the world it wasn't no uh, this was a sign from the heavens to say that this is it, it, it's called winter we have these storms in winter, so, and I say that because uh, yesterday I had a couple people on the bus that everybody was looking at them like they were kind of crazy um, because they were talking about it was, it was because it's a sign of the end of the world. No, it's a sign called winter. That's what the sign was. Uh, it happens every winter. Now, there's a snowstorm in the summer. I'm with you. I'm with you. I'll be preaching right there in the corner with you saying, yeah, that is a sign from the heavens, blah, blah, blah. But as long as it's winter, there ain't no sign. That's what's going to happen. Um, you thought you were going to last the whole winter without one snowstorm? No, it's not going to happen. A little bit of snow got to hit. Come on. I just wish it was on Christmas that it did it. Because ain't it like the best thing to have snow on Christmas? That's like the, 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 to me, the best thing. I don't know. To me, it's the best thing to have snow on Christmas. It reminds me when I was a kid and everything. So, but um, don't be surprised if we get another one. We're still in winter. So there's no end of the world, there's no uh, sign from heaven, get ready, he's coming, blah, blah, blah. Um, no, please. If you want to preach, by all means, preach. That is your, 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 your rights to. But please, if you're trying to use something, use something correct, I'm just saying. I'm not going to go like I, I told people, oh, I'm not going to go to the desert and talk about, oh my God, this is a sign, there's too much sand. It, it, it's the desert. Just like it's winter, it's gonna snow and it's gonna um, it's gonna happen. So, but my I was laughing because the other week when they were saying it was a big snowstorm, everybody was running in the supermarkets like chickens without a head, you know. And then the day of the snowstorm, nobody was even buying nothing. I was like, okay, uh, now we really got a snowstorm. This is the time that you need to be shopping. But I guess people were like, oh, here they go with a big lie again because I thought it was a lie myself, and all of a sudden, poof. I get in the middle of the snowstorm. But anyway, that is a great. But uh, on my personal page, I posted up um, a thing saying, are we failing our kids by giving them everything they want, like spoiling them with everything um, that they want? Like the picture, as soon as it gets up there, you'll see. Um, giving them everything they want. Me? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read two comments that are on my page. I'm going to start saying, yes, you are failing your kids once you give them everything they want. Oh, I want these hundred. And then you busting your butt knowing that you can't afford it to give it to them. And even when you could afford it and you're giving them everything and everything and everything, let's say you're a millionaire. You give your kids everything that they need. You're setting them up for failure. Um, the reason why is because you're not showing them responsibility. You're not showing them to learn how to get what they need and not what they want. Yes, I'm sorry to say, but if I'm a billionaire or millionaire, that's me. Not my kids. I earned a million dollars. You got to earn it now. Yeah, I'm going to help you out. Of course, I'm going to pay for your college and stuff like that. I ain't going to give you everything you want. You know what I'm saying? You got to work for that. Go get a job. Go do something. Oh, Dad, but we're millionaires. No, who's we? Those paychecks come in my name, not your name, buddy. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying 
I know people probably going to disagree with me, but you have to set your kids up to be someone, not to be failures. Uh, and the same thing if you wonder why so many kids from other countries are be they doctors and they lawyers and all oh, these white people and these other people, they all this, because they don't really set them up for failure. Now, some of them is just because they got money and they could send them to good schools, but that's not the point. They're still sending them, you know, to get on their own. Um, so we're setting up our kids, to me, for failure. I I'm telling you this much. Yeah, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna go. I'm trying to look for my comments that I put down. So normally, you know, I don't go on my phone, but oh, uh, on, on live, on live, they said I agree, but I'm not online. I'm trying to go to my comments that people said. Uh, shout outs to my um, uh, sister-in-law Tyra. She said yes and no. Yes, by giving them what they want does not give them a sense of responsibility, which I just said, unless you let them work for it. In some cases, not giving them what they want can sometimes lead to stealing. I got to disagree. If you don't give them what they want and they go steal, is that you didn't, even re you didn't even show them the responsibility of if you do not have the ability to have it, then you don't need it. That's when you got to show your kids, like, listen, if you don't have it, you don't need it then. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you can't get it, then you just can't get it. You work hard so you could get it. So I would agree y'all on the first part, but the second part I don't. Um, yeah, I know they wind up stealing, and it's because you have to just show them that you don't have it, you don't have it. Uh, rule in my house is you get what you need and not what you want. You know what I'm saying? If you want something, you go out and work for it. And I mean legally. So second one, shout out to Corey. She says, giving them what they want all the time is not good because the real world is not like that. Um, it's okay to treat your kid to good things, even better giving them um, what they need. Uh, my mom was tough on me, and my sister didn't get everything we wanted but for Christmas and birthdays, <laughs> which is true. Like I said, um, keep the comments coming, if you, uh, even if I'm off. Um, Keep the comments going on the bottom, you know, and uh, we can check out what you said and I could comment on it um, because I think this is a good subject because a lot of people think, oh, if I don't give my kids this, he's going to be bullied in school and, oh, listen, teach your kids to stop being a sissy. Be strong. You know what I'm saying? Uh... This way, you can understand what life is all about. So I'm going to go on to the network because the engineer is doing stuff, and she's telling me there's comments going all over the place. But uh, I can't see it, so i got to go online. Sorry about this, and just read it. But again, like I said, today we have a good guest coming up. We still have Fashion by Cat. Uh, I don't know if she's in the building yet, but um, Fashion by Cat is coming on too. Um, so, oh, we have... Uh, Oh, she is here. She's peeking through the room <laughs> at the studio. So she's here. So Fashion by Cat is uh, going to be coming soon. But um, Rod said, I agree. What people fail to realize is you can love them without giving them everything. That is so, so true. And then uh, Tina Marie said, no, we need summer as soon as possible. Uh, maybe she was talking about the winter thing that we were talking about. Uh, but, yeah, I think... Setting up your kids by giving them every single thing or busting our butt even more. Like, okay, I'll get you those $200 sneakers. Let me just work a little more overtime. Um, nah, I don't think so. I ain't getting you no $200 uh, sneakers. You can probably take out like a zero. I'll get you a $20 sneaker because I'm the one busting my butt and I'm going to give you nice clothes while we can afford. Um, and even if we could afford the $200 uh, sneakers, I'm not giving it to you. I'm sorry. You're going to have to work for it. That's all it is because that's not something you need. You need a roof, food, water, and clothes to keep you warm and stuff like that. You don't need to s shoot out $200 um, things, $800 phones for an 11-year-old. Listen, I don't think so. There's a certain age in my life that I'll give you a phone or if I'm going to give you a phone, and you're 11 years old, you won't get out the leftovers that we had. You probably have like Galaxy 
negative three or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Like an old phone. I don't know. But you're not going to get no iPhone 25. There ain't no, no such thing. You ain't getting those. <laughs> it's exaggeration mode. I know that. But, you know, you're not getting those four or $500 phones just to text somebody and, and not even talk to, to us. You'd be on the table texting each other. You could have got a regular phone for that. And plus, you're 11 years old. Go study. That's just me. A phone, a phone is supposed to be for uh, just, you know, a case of emergency for an 11-year-old. So I, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to tell you that much. But um, when, you, when you actually have your, your abilities to afford four or $500 stuff, it's still not something you want to get your kids. It's something they need. No. It's something they want. Yes. So what you say? Work for it. That's it. Go do. Give me some A's, some B's. You know what I'm saying? And not even. Because to me, a, a child comes and says, Hey, Dad, I washed the dishes. Can I get $2? Uh, no. It's something that you're supposed to do anyway. You know what I'm saying? And then plus, if you want uh, $2, then... Okay, we're, we're going to work something out. Like, you know, okay, you could come with me at work or you can do something. But things that you're supposed to do, I don't award because you're supposed to do that. Yeah, okay, I'll give you the $2, but then I got to charge you room and board and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm just me. I'm, I'm just joking. But I, when my kid, my son is around 16 or 17, he is going to get charged room and board and food and all that. But I'm not really going to take the money, but it's just to show him that, this is what you do. Like people talk about the Cosby's, but if you remember the Cosby's when he ch when he charged Theo, Theo was all happy. He had some money. He came in. His mom was like, "Oh, you got five dollars left? I forgot. I, I forgot to charge you for the food." And I thought he had a dollar left. And then his dad come and cut the dollar because he owes something else. So he didn't really have no more money. That's how you're supposed to show your kids, because when they leave, you're not. Setting up, you're setting up for failure. So let's don't let's not do that. Let's show our kids now before they leave, because then they're gonna wind up coming back to your house, and you're gonna be like, ah, oh, mira este, now he comes back to my house, and and blah blah blah, and because the whole thing is just like a bird. When they're ready to fly, you kick them off the nest. <laughs> I'm just saying, birds. You know, um, then uh. You know, you have to keep on uh, going on senses like that. So let, let's just keep it up. Let's not um, fail our kids because we really need to uh, show your kids a lot of things. So I, I'm, there are some comments going on under the net word. There's some com comments going on the LDM show. Uh, so I can't really see all the comments. But thank you for you guys for commenting and letting me know. Uh, I'll try to respond after the show to you guys' comments. But uh, if anybody's thinking I'm wrong, please tell me. Because I love the controversy of going back and forth. I love the debate on it. Because is it failure if you're going to give them everything they want and not nothing they need? And what they need is responsibility. I'm going to say that again. Responsibility. That's what they need. They don't need a pair of sneakers when they're in junior high school and not doing nothing for their lives. They need responsibility. Hey, this is the LDM Show. I'm going to be right back. Uh, I guess we're going to be coming back with our guests. No? Oh, Fashion by Cat. Oh, oh Fashion Chat by Cat is coming on. So she's going to be talking about some fashion stuff. I've seen, I seen, if you guys looked on the LDM Show, i seen uh, she was talking about... Um, some sneakers by, by 2 Chain and all this other stuff. New York Fashion. I, I think that's what she said, 2 Chain. I don't know. Um, but I know she's going to be talking about the New York Fashion. It was coming in a couple of weeks. Uh, a matter of fact, a couple of days probably, right? Because January is almost over. So, you know, February is New York Fashion Week. Then we got Bronx Fashion Week coming up in the summer. We got a lot of fashion stuff. So lucky we have a fashion expert in, on our show that can tell us all that. So uh, we'll be right back and keep those comments coming because I love to hear it. Are we failing?